Find the angle between 0 and 2 pi radians that is coterminal with this given angle of 44 pi over 9 radians. So what we got to do first is kind of draw our axes out with the indicated radian measures. Now 0 is only always, always on the positive x-axis. Since this is a positive radian measure, you know we're rotating counterclockwise. So this becomes 1 half pi. Right? Instead of writing a half, I'm going to write it in terms of a decimal here, okay? Half of a pi. Then this represents one full pi's worth of radians, and this would represent then one and a half pi. Oh, and you're like, oh, this is simple now. That's two and a half. This would be 2.5 pi, right? If you kept rotating, this would then be three pi. If you kept going, this would be then three and a half pi. If you kept going, this would be four pi. If you kept going, then this would be four and a half pi. If you kept going, this would be five pi, right? If you kept going, this would be five and a half pi, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, here's the thing. How many pi's is this? Well, it's simply 44 over nine pi. So take 44 and divide it by 9. Throw it in the calculator. Do me a favor. Now notice what it works out to be. It works out to be 4.8 repeating pi's. So let's take a look now at the graph. Okay, draw your initial side. And by the way, this represents how many rotations you got to do. Okay, or, or where we're going to end up. So watch. Ready? Draw your initial side, then draw the terminal side. Okay, this terminal side I'm going to manipulate. Watch. We got to rotate 4.8888 pi times. Ready? So we start at 0 half of a pi, full pi, one and a half pi, two pi, two and a half pi, three pi, three and a half pi, four pi, four and a half pi, 4.88 pi, okay? So this represents now two pi, four pi, 0.88 pi then, right? So this kind of section right here, this right here represents 0.88 of a pi. Right there, okay? That part, 0.88. Now that's going to be important, 0.88 pi. So what I now need to do is, remember, this side represented the terminal side. Now I have to create a new angle, same initial side. And now what I need to do is rotate this terminal side so that it is co-terminal with that terminal end, okay? And you don't rotate more than once around this axis at all, okay? It's going to be some value less than 2 pi. Look, they told you 0 to 2 pi. So my question is, well, what is this angle in here? Well, didn't we already find it? 0.88, right? 0.88 pi. So this represents 0.88 repeating pi, right? Now, that might not be satisfactory. <coughs> you might want to know the fraction, right? To that. So what you can do is you can take out your calculator and you can convert that decimal, 0.8888, just plug it into your calculator, convert it into the fraction, and that works out to be 8 ninths now. 8 ninths pi. Okay, and that's it. That's all. Simple as that. All right. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it very much. I do hope this helps. Please help us out by subscribing and hitting that like button. All right, I'll see you soon. Take care.